Hey everybody! We're on a fresh start here. Deep breath. Good vibes only allowed. And what a haircut. I'm not gonna start the run by saying that our rate of fire is already better than our rate of fire was at the end of the last run, but oops, it just slipped out. 0W63Y943. This is a run I can get down with. Look at all the stats right off the bat. Feeling pretty strong. I think we ran into a combination of uh, a subpar attitude and a subpar run. Last run. Probably should not have died, and I've said many times, you know, the, the difference between a... Uh, a consistent streak and a lot of six and seven win in a row islands is being able to convert those, you know, should be losses into wins. Or could be losses into wins. Because to be fair, like, a lot of Isaac runs basically have no chance to lose ever. This one still has a chance. But it, it's looking really good. It's like, there's like four things you have to check off the list, and not all of them are created equal. Adequate DPS is one, and we're there at least temporarily. HP is uh, one, we're not there. We're uh, a little bit behind on that one. Speed being like above 0.9 is on there, and we've done that. I don't know what the other thing would be. A good spacebar item helps, but is probably not a prerequisite. Yo, did we start with Celtic Cross? What's up with that? I am an idiot. Definitely should have just pushed that, but I got spooked that he was, you know, sending out homing tears. Turned out to not be homing whatsoever. There's HP. It's not homing tears, it's the Polaroid. Whoa. Okay, that's unusual. <laughs> to start with the Polaroid. It means we could take the negative from the mom fight. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Oh, that was a terrible dodge. We could have easily done a ring around the rosy there. All right, you know what that means? We've got to lean forward, get into better position, playing a little too casual. Well. I think that the clicker is horrible here. But I, I might give it a try. I just worry that immediately by using the clicker, we'll lose uh, the Eden items we had. Because of the fact that we got those for being eaten. Now we're Eve. And our stats are not very good. But I'm hoping uh, to get to the point where I reroll into Dark Judas and then just kind of roll from that point onwards. But you do lose out. It's another item. I'm not going to start on the negativity early here. It's toxic. You know, it breeds toxicity in the city. In the city. But, the fact that the clicker purges items from you, regardless, just as like a, hey, we don't want you using this item too much, it gets me every time. Why? 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 It's already bad. <laughs> and if it's good, so what? It should be good. It's, a, it's an item you have to sacrifice an, an inventory spot for. It's like that in Monster Manuel, where I'm just like, I don't understand why you would make this. Okay, yeah. And, and regardless, we're headed down. It's not so bad. I mean, it's just Eden right now. We still have the Polaroid, which is irrelevant, but interesting. Um, kind of like my Tumble Seed series. Um, but we're going to get a deal with the devil, almost certainly. We can continue to try to reroll, or we could do just do this as an Eve run and count our losses. Either one of which I think is actually completely acceptable. Uh, Lil Gish. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, that, that, where is it, boy? There's a black market somewhere here. Well, let's go for maximum bomb uh, to rock ratio, which would be right here. And we got very lucky, I'd say. It's not a black market, instead it's a crawl space. So keep in mind, we spent the bomb to go here. You know what? Paid for itself. I was ready to be snarky and the game said no. Hello, Tomo. Tomo. My good son does not, uh, 
meow at 6.30 in the morning. And temporarily, I gotta say, I love both of my cats equally, but in terms of annoyance, Tomo's 1A in a good way. If, all I'm saying is if there was only one cat ice cream cone in the cat freezer, it would go to Tomo right now. Now, we could never do that. It's cruel because, you know, the cat doesn't understand. Why is Tomo getting the ice cream? I'm not getting the ice cream. Also, I mean, cats shouldn't eat ice cream to begin with. I did see there was a Korean pet channel Kate was watching once. They made their cats some ice cream, and I said, wow, it's amazing. They truly love their cats. By the way, we're never doing that. They had, like, a cold stone, and they were mashing together, like, strawberries on it. And I don't know. Cats aren't supposed to eat dairy, at least cow dairy. I know the typical... Uh, oh, that hurts. The typical, you know, cat... Meal is supposed to be like a saucer of milk. And probably, you know, it's not going to hurt them that bad. But I do think cats are like cow lactose intolerant. I thought, you know, you check that before I just spread misinformation. But that was, that was the impression that I was under. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to click her. And now we're the lost. And, I mean, do we have... I don't think we have holy mantles. So this is... It's pretty horrible, but at least we were able to take the items for free. I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. And we lost little Gish. I just don't get it. <laughs> it's like if Plan C also erased your save file. It's like, hey, this item already kills you, and by the way, it also screws you. The clicker is just like. It's one of those, it's like missing though. It just, it irks me just the slightest. It's not actually like a grave injustice or anything like that. It irks me because I love the game. You know, if, you, if you're new to the game or you don't play that much, you just go, ah, oh, that's the way it is, I'll not use that item. If you love the game like me, you're like, why won't you be absolutely perfect? This, this one little minor thing doesn't make any sense. At least that's what I tell myself when people backseat me in Twitch chat. For now, there's not much we can do but just kind of let it ride. Who? You gotta be like two hits away. I mean, actually being the lost is good until you get hit. Once you get hit, being the lost sucks just horrendously. I'm pretty sure that the secret room, yeah, was on the other side. You know, I don't really want to be here anymore. Oh my god, I actually, like, I panicked. Every muscle in my body tensed up when that silkworm was coming. So in case you were curious about my thoughts on the clicker, not really a big fan of this item. Um, am I happy we're coming back to life? Sure, why not? I was ready to start anew, but we probably should have just done nothing. It's it's the Zane principle all over again. We're like, in my head, I'm like, well, we gotta, now that we've lost, we can take all these cool zany items. And then I'm like, oh my god, I already take the cool zany items. The only items I don't take are the ones that are, like, situationally good sometimes, I guess, or alternatively, just, like, pure garbage. This one's more in the pure garbage vein. But we're one room away. I don't even know what our HP would look like after the reroll. I guess it depends if we can lose the HP we've already worked so hard for. Yoink! Well, if my goal was to have a little bit more of a safe and stable run after the last one that things got a little out of hand on... I don't think we are even close to that yet. This seems like Eden? I don't know. I mean, it could be Isaac? Don't do me dirty like this, please. Thank you. How? How are you not dead? Like, I didn't know they manufactured enemies with unlimited HP down here. It's okay, we'll do what we always do. And we'll uh, wait six rooms. 
re-roll and hope to get that Dark Judas pickup. Definitely feeling like I've made a terrible mistake. At some point, we should probably just accept that, you know, the best thing for us is to... The best thing for us is to not re-roll. But the only time I want to do that is when we have um, an item that I can't afford to lose. Now, in aggregate, we can't afford to lose all these items. We probably don't want to lose Dogtooth. This sucks. Alright, now it's actually survivable. Don't you dare. Don't you dare leave. Like, if we lose this damage upgrade, it's gonna be hard. If we lose Guppy's Collar... It won't be hard. We'll just die when we're supposed to die. Okay, they're out of sync with one another, and uh, unfortunately my brain is incapable of handling the incredible pace that they're sending out there. That's bad. You gotta go. You gotta... I didn't kill him. He was one hit away! Oh my god! You know what? No. Give me a loss. I'm ready. They, give me... I'll take this one. That's fine. <laughs> GSA7 Fed M. It's one of the... When it rains, it pours, man. I don't know what to say except for the, you know... Probably double down on a bad decision by taking uh, Clicker there. And you know what? We should operate under the methodology that we're on, like, win... If we play every run like it's win 99, or, I mean, we're on 99 wins, I should say, that might be a psychologically beneficial thing here. Because we're, we're getting tilted, uh, as evidenced, I think, by the Clicker play on the last run. But I'll put you in my shoes in case you don't understand. I was like, this run's a little screwed up right from the start. Let's zane it up. Take the clicker. What ended up being zany? It was a young man's idea of zane. There was a random number generator that trended towards zero and um, eventually took us there. But because there was some random chance thrown in, we got a little bit of the dopamine hit every time we got to hit the space bar. Unfortunately, we've learned something we already knew, that the clicker is just is just terrible, and there's no reason to take it basically ever. It, if anything, you know, my previous rationalization behind the clicker was basically that, like, hey, if your run's cursed, you might as well use clicker. Now I'm realizing if your run's cursed, you should try to get out of it, not take an item that in all likelihood is going to make it worse. Now. We're just, again, we're taking deep breaths. Room's only 28 degrees Celsius. Not as hot as it could be. No, no blame to be placed there. All we can do, you gotta recognize, everybody makes mistakes in life, in Isaac. Spelling mistakes, arithmetic mistakes. You meant to tip 10%. On the interact machine, somehow you hit 1% and then sent it through. You got it out of the grocery store and you realized there was an item in your cart you didn't pay for. You know, it happens to the best of us. This is the quarter for sure. What happens after that determines who you are, you know? It determines the kind of Isaac player you are. Are we going to say, like, oh, well, we already lost on this episode. It doesn't matter. Or are we going to, you know, tighten the belt. Well, I don't really want this, but are you going to tighten the belt and are you going to, you know, puff up your chest and say, okay, we're going to have a, a genuine chance at uh, making this run work at this point. That's what I'm planning to do. We've been through this road before, the road of bad play. I know where it leads. It leads to doing a fourth save file, and I say no. <laughs> the third one's not even done yet. Um... I don't even... You know what? I will actually use two bombs. This is great news, I think, because one of them uh, gives us arcade potential. The other one gives us arcade fuel. And then this one's going to give us a second secret room. All right, we'll leave. Desperately need to up our uh, damage stat. 
But hey. This is like Eve's damage without any way to get through it, but I can, uh... I can roll it for now. We're gonna get a deal with the devil. All I ask, if the game wants to meet me halfway and, we, you know, we can have a merciful run, just a good deal with the devil item. It doesn't have to be brimstone. It doesn't have to be mom's knife. Let me, I'll give you a good example. What about the mark? Might border on great, so, you know, maybe I'm over asking. That was a bad dodge. If that's the case, I apologize. But, you know, feel free to give me whatever you feel is deserved. Probably should not have opened that. What is this? Ansus. Not immediately useful. And nothing there. We do have an arcade. If we can get some more red hearts, we can make something happen there. Gimpy, perhaps. Came be in conception. We're even getting down to like square one. We got the subtle glow of a rock tinted here. Don't be making those aggressive dodges. There's no reason for it. I actually, briefly, I thought there was nothing inside of that tinted rock, and I almost went nuclear. Oh, did you almost blow your top and have a disaster? No, I almost provided steam coming out of my ears for clean and safe energy. For a population of, you know, 15,000 people. Don't hit me. I want... There we go. Deal with the devil chance. I'll admit, it, it takes a bigger man than myself. It takes a more mature person than myself on top of that. To, uh, to fully get out of a tilt once the tilt has begun. The HP should be a little helpful, at least. You know what? I don't dislike the existence of a, a Krampus here. I definitely do want Lump of Coal. But I can wait. Everything's going A-OK. -okay. Thank you. Lump of Coal. It's like a ship. You know, you see the Titanic... Oh, it's already been blown up. Okay. You see the Titanic start to pitch and yaw? You know, like, there's a reason the captain doesn't get on the loudspeaker and go, Hey, everybody, go to the other side of the ship. You know, it's too late for that. All you can do is load people into the lifeboats. Try to save as many lives as you can. That's what we're doing. This is a lifeboat run right now. The Titanic needs to be scuttled. Our previous way of thinking, at least over the course of this video, is that we got to rethink it. Let me see what we got in here. Oh, you know what? I appreciate the opportunity one way or the other. Uh, I don't like that I have to use my own bomb to open it, but hey, basically paid for itself. Now, I would love a speed upgrade. This is 0.96 speed, let's be honest. It doesn't work for you, game. It doesn't work for me either. You know what? At the end of the day, I actually really appreciate the, uh, the IV bag. It's not what we're going to go with, but temporarily it was a nice improvement. I appreciate it. This could be a second secret room. Alright. Well, we'll be leaving. You know, there's a chance the secret room is adjacent to the shop, but I think I'm, I'm willing to wait. Red Candle gives us enough time to not have to worry about it. If you're watching this one, help, oh god, oh lord, uh, if you're watching this one while you're trying to sleep, I apologize, because, uh, you know, like, uh, that movie with Jack White in it that I saw the trailer for in front of Everything is Illuminated but never saw the actual movie, uh, it might get loud. That's not a secret room? You know what? Okay, we, we now have constructed a run where, in combination... In aggregate, 
he pronounced the word right for the first time ever. We have the ability to kill enemies. Step one is basically get them to chase you. I can't believe I, my speed was perfect to just accidentally walk myself into that shot. Step one is get them to chase you. Step two is just fire at... It's, it's Geometry Wars. That's what we've actually created here. It's Geometry Wars and the space bar is our recurring bomb. So we're going to go safety scissors because I think bombs are actually pretty important for us. Please don't... No jumps allowed. See these guys? They're like the perfect speed to just get de destroyed. Fantastic. Yo, I know we're all sick of battle royales. Uh, even I am. And I still take the position. And it, it rubs some people the wrong way for sure. Not just Nicholas, who you might think I'm, you know, subtweeting just by saying it here, but that's not the case. Um, I still take the opinion that a battle royale is just another game mode. It's a, you know, deathmatch, team deathmatch, capture the flag, you know, control points, etc., etc. The fact that they've been spun out into their own genre where every, you know, a game can just be a standalone single mode, I can understand the frustration there. Yo, baby. It's Bookworm. I really think I have to stick with Red Candle, but I can understand you might be looking at Book of the Dead with you know, some eyes here. I'm just gonna accept our, you know, doubled shots occasionally. I'm kind of sick of the mode too. In fact, after playing Battle Royales for like a year straight with no other first-person shooter content, um, or any shooter content, I guess, but going back to a game in which you respawned was like, oh my god, this is so fun. When you die, you haven't lost 20 minutes of progress. They got, they both got their place, but anyway, what I was gonna ask is, how was, uh, What's the scuttlebutt like on that Counter-Strike Global Offensive Battle Royale? I am not good, oh, let's go, at Counter-Strike, but I am probably average, which is way better than in most Battle Royales. I'm a pretty below average PUBG player. You know, I, I, I will stand by it. I got a Fortnite solo, and I got a PUBG solo victory. Did it take me hundreds of hours. The PUBG one, I don't know, I probably have like a hundred hours of solo. That seems fair. Um, Fortnite, it, I did rely on the second to last person blowing themselves up with a rocket launcher, but hey, it counts. It's not like we colluded for the victory. Like I was jumping around him and he, he just shot and blew himself up. I would say I outsmarted him, which maybe makes me the greatest player of all time. Magic 8-Ball, hold on, what's this? Temperance. I'm thinking. Um, so I'm going to take... Uh, I think we've had Guardian Angel. I don't know if our Brimstone lasers are going to be any good. They tend not to be. But they're also kind of fun. Which is the logic that got me into trouble. Multiple times on this very run. But this time, it's different for reasons. Never mind. Um, life is pain. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. You can look at the decks. Or the, sorry, I had a chat open that's from uh, Kate playing Magic because I hosted her after my stream. But, dude, you can look at our, like, ending stats. And I'm not displeased with how we died on any of these. Third floor, 0 0.85 speed, 2.86 damage, 9 rate of fire. I don't, that doesn't make me want to cry. Like, honestly, I'm like, dude, that's a loss. That's a loss on paper. Now, what we got to do is turn, we got to fold the paper into, like, some kind of origami swan in the future if we're going to get runs that are, you know, this relatively subpar. Either way, I'm embarrassed with my performance in the last two videos, but it does feel good to meet resistance in the game again. I'm going to come back, and we'll uh, we'll try to persevere for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I'll be back stronger. I'll see you next time. See you!